Hello guys, this is Black on Black. You can't see me because right now I'm attempting to do a color wheel on my mannequin. These are my cups that I have laid out because you have 12 colors on the color wheel. And this is the color wheel right here. So, um, I'm going to use this demonstration as my uh, layout. And um, the color line that I'm uh, choosing to use is Cravana Chroma Silk. They have some nice vivid colors. And um, I'm doing this for a class project. And I chose to do it on the mannequin because I like to practice on things that I will be using in the salon. And they have all the colors, colors that I will be needing except for... Uh, the red orange, the uh, blue violet, uh, the red violet, you know, the colors, that's the uh, secondary colors and the uh, to, to tertiary colors. I can't never pronounce that word. But uh, these are the uh, colors on the color wheel. Well, the green, but, well, they had the green, so I won't have to make that one up. But, uh, and the orange, which is the secondary color in the green so I have all of those and these are the colors that I purchased I have the yellow I can't see the red the uh, violet the, the green the orange and the blue so these are the colors that I went and purchased and they were what were they 425 um, a color so and this is how big the tube is and this you know, the colors are up here on the TV. So, what I will be doing, I've already bleached out my doll. You see the cups? I've already bleached out my doll. So, and I have it, uh, pretty much, I'm just doing the top of her head. The lighting is bad, bad, but I, I bleached her all the way up to a level, level 10. So she, uh, I can go a little uh, lighter if I wanted to, but I'm choosing not to. And this right here is my first section that I will be doing. This is the one that I've sectioned out. And I have a piece of uh, plastic wrap, you know, keeping this, keeping the color away from getting on the other hair. And so when I'm done, I'll just fold that over. And lock that hair in with the color and just keep on going around, you know, as I proceed with my color wheel. Yeah, I know, but uh, I'm, I'm holding this camera and trying to do this at the same time. But y'all, you guys can follow me. So, right now I'm going to zoom in on the doll and get off the cups because I won't be, I will be mixing them. Actually, I'm going to be, I'll be right back. I'm going to get the colors mixed and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back and I've mixed all of the colors. Uh, I'm just tilting it over in the cups. All of the colors are mixed. My violets, my yellows, my reds, my orange. Everything is mixed. So, now all I have to do is start to applying the colors. This is my first time attempting this, so not saying it's going to be perfect. And the hair looks red, but it's not. It's not red at all. Um, me pan out a little bit. Yeah, let's see. Okay, and I have some toothbrushes. I went by Fred and I picked up those cups and I picked up some toothbrushes to apply my color with. Um, and it didn't take that much color. So, I have old clothes so it's not going to harm anything. Now, I'm going to try to keep that thing focused on the head. But these are the toothbrushes that I bought. They're on like a dollar. So, and I'm going to apply. I'm going to have to turn my color wheel upside down because. Yeah, it's going to be turned towards me because I have to see what I'm doing. But, um. You'll see it as she spins around. But, uh, I'm going to be applying the yellow first. Because that's, you know, I don't have to be as, you know, I have to be in order, yeah. But, you know, I just want my yellow at the top. 
So, and I'm going to scoop it out and use my toothbrush to apply it to the hair. Starting at the roots, paying very close attention to the roots. So, and especially in this triangle, and I have each section triangled off. So, and I was having a lot of trouble in my other uh, coloring, trying to get this yellow to pull through. I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to add some more. Like I said, I've never done this before, so, yeah. go with the fiasco. I might have to go in and bleach that um, yellow part out. Uh, this is why you wear old clothes. <laughs> and bleach that um, yellow out some more. I mean bleach this part out some more so I can really give off that yellow. I'm not going to really worry about the ends because I will be cutting the ends and styling this doll when I am done. So, I keep throwing it in there. I'm going to put a little bit more yellow on here, hoping it will grab to a bright yellow. Okay, now I'm folding the uh, saran wrap over. Okay. Now, I'm going this way. So the next color will be my orange yellow. Here's my saran wrap. I have already made a mess. I should have put my apron my um protector on. Because I've already gotten color on my clothes. But this is why you wear old clothes or Something covering your clothes when you're messing with color because you never know what's going to happen. Never know, never know. And I'm just taking it and splitting it down so as I can come up and just put it right, right over. And once you put it over there, it's going to stick onto the other part of the um, saran wrap. And so you're just clipping one side down. There she go. Make sure your your, your party is not covered up. Okay. Now I'm not gonna worry about um, coloring this because it's orange yellow. I mean, cleaning this because the color is orange yellow. Well, yellow orange. And so I can go ahead and just and <sighs> yeah. I just wait till after it's applied to really judge it and see what's gonna be. I'm 
a little bit more yellow in here. They say equal parts, but I'm thinking the dominant color should be more. And the dominant color is yellow as it goes down. And then the next color with the dominant color would be orange. So I'm just kind of going to eyeball it. Brush towards me. Okay. Ugh. Okay, I'm just going to fold that over. It's not any on the back of it. I think I can rub a little bit. But I'm just really just focusing it on the color here on the top of the hair because that's where the color will be exposed. So Clip on there to keep those covered. Okay, next color. This is what it's looking like so far. This is my yellow, this is my yellow orange, and my next color is going to be my orange. So, I had a hard time parting this off right. Thinner. I'm gonna take it down just a lot, a little bit more. Okay. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, and I'm gonna pin it in place. And again, I'm not going to wash the brush because it's going to change as it goes, as it go on. So, I will put my cuffs back out of the way. Okay, now this color is going to be my orange. No, I don't need to use the same brush for that. Don't need anything mixed in that orange. It's going to be straight orange. Get another toothbrush and I'll be using this same toothbrush for the next anything that has orange. Let me see. Orange, red, orange. Just two. The orange and red orange. So let me 
to get my orange. So I might be needing some more. And it looks so red, but color can be tricky to the eye when it's in its uh, wet state. So, okay. I'm being very careful, but I do want it at the top in the roots and on the sides. I'm not worried about it getting on the plastic because it's going to fold over on this hair. In the hair anyway. Again, this is the orange, which is look red, but it's orange. Okay, now I have all of the orange uh, applied. Let me get all this color off of here. Right there. There's no color. But I will not be going back to this cup anyway because the other colors are already mixed. So, mainly focusing on the roots because the roots, you know, how the roots can get this extra color. Okay, now, the next color, oh, I just peeled that place right off of there, a disaster waiting to happen. Very careful not to not to move that plastic. I'll tell you what, let me do this. I'm just gonna lay another piece on top of here. To seal it even more. Okay. Now the next one will be Red orange. dry now I, I see that I need to put some more pigment of a certain color back in there that's what I would have to do no big deal okay once again split your plastic down to where you know it's got to be coming out of the hair and connecting with that one on the side side you take it and pin it down okay. 
this one is red orange. That's my phone, but okay guys I'm back and I've completed the um the color process I'm going to just walk you around if you can look closely you can pretty much see them so all of it is wrapped up in a saran wrap and this is how it should be once you're completed with the whole wrapping up the head I got junk everywhere <laughs> Oh, um, this conditioner, I added, um, this is a conditioner that I added to each cup of my, uh, color to, um, you know, it's just better. Just adding a little, just uh, not even a spoonful, half a spoon in each cup of the color. That color's not going to go the waste, by the way. I have some swatches that I have to do. So I'm going to let this sit for a while because I want it deeply, deeply uh, colored. So I will be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Oops, I'm sorry. And it's been in here for a minute. It really has. So now I'm getting ready to, um, let me do the uh, yellow first. This yellow, I'm very concerned about the yellow. I don't know. But, um. We'll see. I'm going to save my pens. Well, so far so good. This back, I didn't color the back. I just left it uh, the original color it was before I uh, lifted it. And as you can see, all the colors are there. I'm proud. I'm proud of that. All the colors are there. Now I'm going to rinse it with cold water in the sink. I'm starting where I began at first. I'm not worrying about the colors bleeding on them because they they process to the limit. They're not gonna process anymore. So all oh, that's the valid red ballots and. Oh, uh, that's the. Uh, of course, they're getting darker because they're getting wet. But that yellow, I think I'm fine with that yellow because that yellow on some color wheels are called gold as well. So I think I'm fine with that. Uh. And this center, I didn't go all the way up because I might go ahead and mix all of them together and put that neutral color in the middle. I don't know, I'll, I'll see. And always when you're washing your mannequin head, try to have the water flowing down. But I did have the conditioner in my coloring, so. I'm not going to rub, I'm just going to let the water just um, do its thing. I'm making sure all the conditioner is gone. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. What do you guys think? I think it came out very, very well. I think it did well. I think it did well. No bleeding. No bleeding. No bleeding. Okay, I'm going to dry it and see what it does. See what it looks like when it at, at its final stage. Okay, in a minute. Okay, I've uh, flat ironed her out. Now I'm I'm about to uh, silk wrap her. It's kind of dark in here, but uh, the colors are better, and I'd rather take the photos. But I'm going to silk wrap her and uh, get the hair to lay down even flatter. I know it's a junk over there because I've been working on this doll head for a minute here. But uh, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, you guys, as I said in my previous clip, I'm back with the finished silk out process of this doll. Now, um... I've been trying to get this thing recorded for a week now. Haven't had the time. Okay. As you can see from the previous clips, uh, she has been cut again. Yeah. And as you can see, you can see all the colors in it. Uh, all of the colors. I don't know if you can really see from the um, footage. But um, she's, she's cut again. And I just kind of got a little closer in the back. That way you can see the brown, which is the neutral colors. We put all the colors together, of course. Um, so I just popped in real quick just to uh, give you guys the finish uh, self out process, which is uh, putting a little oil on the mannequin uh, wrap. Well, I didn't wrap her. I just left her and saran wrapped her and put on the dryer for like 30 minutes for a doll head. But a human head, you wouldn't leave her on in there that long because you don't want it to sweat out with all the heat and under the uh, saran wrap so you only go like five five six minutes max under the um dryer the hooded dryer on high so um yeah now she's finished this project is done and i've have uh submitted her for a grade already so now um i don't have to keep her in this in this shape in the condition which i probably will because i have another mannequin that i work on for my classes or whatever and she's done. She's done. And my my onyx hair is still is still holding up. My onyx ring hair, and I love this hair. I really do. Um, and sometimes I will take two neck techniques and apply it to my hair because I like to try different things, kind of like the doll. Cause I'm I was looking for a way to do a color wheel that nobody has done before. Surprisingly. Nobody's never done it on a mannequin doll before with real color. And the color that I use is Pravana. I, I shouldn't have said that. But, and I love that color, color line because the colors are so vivid. And I know that it will pop through and I won't have to use anything to get the colors to apply to the hair. Just apply the color and, and there you go. And, um, so, Pravana, you got a plug in right there. But, uh, like I said, this hair is Onyx Remy and I love this hair. And the way I have it, you know, I said I had two techniques in on my head. Uh, actually, three. I have it sewn in in the back from ear to ear. And I have it glued in in the front. The reason I did that is to save my edges. And I don't like the shifting of the uh, closure when I sew them down. So I'm trying to keep the sewing down from, from the front area, period. Uh, just giving my edges a break period from all the sewing and the stitches and the shifting and all of that and I did use the GPS solution and I did do the same technique that I do when I do my quick weaves you know with the uh, stocking caps the two stocking caps the GPS solutions under the dryer and then apply my hair that's how I did this method as well so um, uh, thank you guys for your time for uh, with the tutorial on the coloring of the mannequin and um, any questions that you might have Feel free to inbox me. Comment down below. Um, rate, comment, and subscribe, you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.